car is at the center of a heated controversy today. A man is accusing the Spot and Grill of discriminating against African American customers. Yeah, the now Detroit Simon Chowdhury is in front bar on Gratiot Avenue near 14 Mile. Simon, what is this all about? Well, the man says he was waiting right here early Saturday morning to get into the, to the spot when he saw a group of African Americans being charged a cover fee. Well, when he got to the door, he says he got in for free. He says the employee at the door told him he's getting in for free because he's white. Now, we spoke with the owner of the spot, and he doesn't believe any of this happened, but he does have a theory as to why the man was not charged. I walked up and I asked them how much cover was. He said, it's free if you're white, don't tell anybody. Jonas Grable says he couldn't believe his ears when he tried getting into the spot bar and grill in Roseville Saturday around 1.30 in the morning. He just said it with a smirk on his face, like kind of like really, um, yeah, just like snarky. Jonas says he saw a group of African Americans get charged a cover fee to get into the spot, but he says it was free for him and his girlfriend. Once Jonas got in, he was surprised that the crowd was very diverse. He didn't complain to management at the time. Instead, he posted his experience on Facebook. I just put it out there, just wanted to let them know what happened there, and it, the shares just took off. We're not a racist bar in any way, shape, or form. We welcome everybody. Robert Buzar doesn't believe Jonas Grable's story. He says he has known the doorman for years and can't imagine him saying something like that. Robert tells me they charge $10 for men and 5 bucks for women on Fridays and Saturdays, but at some point they stop charging, which is why Jonas may not have been charged, even if someone in front of him was charged minutes earlier. If he came in after 1.30, we stopped charging cover after 1.30, um, which would be the only explanation I could think of. Jonas claims there were reviews on the Spot's Facebook page accusing the bar of racism before, but when I went to go check, the section was shut off. Robert says there were only a few negative reviews before he had to make it private. The reason I did that was because of all the backlash that I was getting from the Facebook, going, the Facebook thing going viral. Robert says people have been calling the bar and making threatening comments all because of the Facebook post. And I pride myself in the fact that we have such a diverse crowd here. Um, we cater to everybody. Jonas is sticking to his story. The fact that I'm white and I spoke up about it, I think that's why I got a lot of attention, but because I gained nothing from this. It's not my race that I'm accusing of being discriminated against. I just witnessed something that I thought was wrong. And the owner is now reviewing surveillance footage from that night, trying to figure out exactly what took place right in front of his door. Carolyn? So he's going to stay with the same policy, though. He'll continue charging uh, cover charges before 1.30 and not do anything differently, right? That is correct. And he also believes his doorman's story, so he doesn't feel that there has to be some sort of repercussion for him as well. Yeah, yeah, it sounds, it sounds strange. And then without the comments and you can't verify it, I don't know. We'll just have to see what happens and see if people complain some more. Thank you so much, Saima, for the live report.